Hey, Vlad here, DevInsidey.com. Welcome to another video. When I started this channel, I made a conscious choice to use the minimal amount of tools and settings as possible. I wanted you to be able to code along and see exactly what I see. I'm starting to change my mind though. There is a reason why I'm using all of these tools. And sure, some of them are toys and they're, they're just fun to play around with, but some of them actually do provide value. In fact, most of them provide value. So what I wanna do is I wanna record a couple of videos about the tools that I use, and then I can just point my viewers to them if they have any questions. Questions. In the previous video, we have seen how easy it is to synchronize all of your so-called dot files between your computers. And the reason for this video was so that I can take the fear away from you from customizing these tools because all of the tools that I'm using are heavily customized. Today, we're going to take a look at Gwake, which is a terminal or technically a terminal emulator. Its primary feature is that it's always running in the background. And when you press a key combination, which is usually just F12, it comes down from the top of the page. Apparently, there is a name for terminals like this. They're called top-down terminals and Quake in particular was inspired by a first-person shooter game called Quake. So let's install it real quick, go through a couple of settings and try as hard as possible to make this video short. Let's get right to it. As in most of my videos, I'm on Windows 10 and I'm running an Ubuntu 18.04 virtual machine and the virtual desktop feature in Windows gives me a couple of shortcuts to do this. I can go to Windows and I can go back to Ubuntu. And by the way, this was the Gwake's website. Now, Gwake is only available for Linux. However, its primary feature is this ability to come down from the top of the page. And these days, a lot of terminals actually offer the same functionality. For instance, the iTerm2 on a Mac can be configured to do that. And on Windows, there is another terminal called ConEmo, which allegedly can do the same. I want to stress this fact again that I'm not claiming that Gwake is the best terminal out there. There are so many terminals out there. It's, it's, it's insane. I just love the fact that I don't have to configure anything crazy for it to come down that's that's all right so I just install it I press F12 it comes down that's all I need so we'll stick to Ubuntu and Quake is available through the typical Ubuntu repositories however for some reason the versions in there are a bit out of date in fact we're talking like a couple of years back and in fact the version that is currently in the Ubuntu repositories contains a bug which prevents Quake from being closed on control D now Quake is written in Python 3 so we're gonna use pip which is a Python package manager to install it and by the way it's open source so you can also install it from source if you like. Now, if you have been following my videos for quite a while, you know that I have a bunch of install hyphen repositories and I have a subdomain called install.devinsidey.com. You can just go there and you can see all of them. You can also go to install, oops, that's kind of large. You can also go to, in, whoa, hold up. You can also go to, what's happening? Install.devinsidey.com and then you can do wake like this okay all of my uh, repositories are set up in such a way that you just copy these two lines and uh, that's what it says, you know, the official PPA is not, is not up to date. You can just copy these two lines and it will download this file, make it execu executable and it will run it. So I'm going to copy these two lines, but I'm also going to go into the script and show you what it does because all it does, it, it, it installs an um, extra uh, dependency actually from one of the Ubuntu repositories. It's called Keybinder. I'm not sure what it does, but probably it makes sure that you can, that I can click uh, a key combination and uh, it will, it will launch quick for me. Then it just installs a pip. By the way, it's written in Python 3. Uh, be sure to install the, the Python 3 version, and then it just installs uh, a GWAC over here with, with PEEP. Okay, so I copied these, these two lines. I'm gonna go back to my Ubuntu VM. I'm gonna launch the terminal. I'm gonna paste these two lines, press enter, enter my password, and it's gonna take, I don't know, 30 seconds or so to, uh, to download and to install it. All right, so now it says Quake is now on the path, but you might need to log out and back in. So let's do Quake hyphen hyphen version and let's see if it works. And it doesn't, let's close the terminal. Let's open it again. Let's see if that helped up like this. It's still no. Okay, so let's log out, log out, log out like that, log out, log back in. All right, let's open the terminal, Quake hyphen hyphen version. And there we go. We see Wake Terminal version 363 VTE 0522 GTK 322230. Now, VTE is a terminal widget library and quite a few terminals are built on it. And the only thing that you need to know about it is that it doesn't support ligatures and therefore Wake also doesn't support ligatures. And GTK is simply a GUI library commonly used in C and C++ languages, but apparently it works for other languages as well. Let's close the terminal real quick and I'm gonna click on this button over here. I'm gonna type in Wake and let's see if we're gonna see something there. We don't see anything, okay? But in fact, we installed uh, two tools. 
Okay, let me press escape a couple of times. So we installed uh, Gwake, obviously, and there's also another one called Gwake, uh, Gwake Preferences or something. Gwake, uh, hold up, Gwake Toggle. I thought there was there was also Gwake Preferences. In any case, if we launch Gwake in, uh, in the background like this, you know, something will happen, uh, but it doesn't really matter. We can pretty much close this tab. All right, no, we can't close this tab. Come on, just run Gwake like this. Okay, so if I press F12 now, so it came down, and the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna go into preferences, like this. Okay, so um, we're gonna go through a couple of preferences, but you can obviously you know play around with this with this yourself. But before that, I wanted to show you that we actually install Gwake and this other application that would would start these preferences, but you actually never need this because in Gwake you can also always right click and you can go into here. Okay, so now we're just gonna go through a couple of settings. So um, Gwake has um, you know it can persist your your session. So uh, usually, so right now if I press F12, I can type something in. It's really really small. We're gonna fix it in a couple of seconds. Okay, it's really really small, but I press F12 again it goes away i press f12 again it comes back with exactly what i tapped however if you re if you uh reboot your system then it's always going to be gone for that you can enable this experimental feature i actually don't have it enabled i don't i don't really need this uh i always you know close everything properly uh, disable that no alert start wake at logging yeah this is very important right so uh, if, if i log out and then I, and then i log back in then um then then it will start in fact this is what i'm going to do now because i'm kind of pissed that um that i can't i can't find uh Gwake over there so i'm just going to log out okay all right so ubuntu started and i can just press f12 and it should have started as well seems like it didn't in any case if it doesn't work for you what you can do is you can click over here uh, in fact not over here you can go here and you can tap and start uh, startup applications that thing okay and you can just add one and you can just type in quake and quake over here and that's it add close okay so now we can just log out all right, so let's press F12 and now it actually worked. Okay, cool. So now you start and it's over there. Okay, so let's go to preferences, you know, increase the font size and all of these things. Okay, um, all right, so start Gwake at login, uh, show close buttons for tabs. No, in fact, I don't even use the tabs. And in fact, uh, Gwake also has these uh, splits like this and uh, like, uh, like that but I don't even use them you can you know you can use the mouse to to move them around and stuff I don't even use them I actually use tmux or you know uh, actually Bible uh, for that so I actually disable all of these tabs and all of these splits and I, and I actually don't use them at all so um, I always from quit no uh, use workspace specific tab sets right so uh, Ubuntu itself has workspaces right like this and you might have you know three tabs here you know four tabs there but as i already said i actually don't really use tabs okay prefer dark theme yes please oh okay much more pleasant pleasant okay um let's go on ma main window okay so here I, I highly recommend you to disable stay on top and to enable hide on loose focus right so very often i for example i spawn quake like this and then i switch the workspace down because my vs code is over there and i want uh, quake to go away right so i just do this and quake goes away Okay, so I highly recommend you to do this. In fact, right now I might actually do the opposite. So I will actually do the opposite, just so that I can uh, I can keep showing you the settings. So I'm just gonna make this. Uh, I'm just gonna move this down like that. Okay, and I'm gonna spawn Gwake, right? So this way it's always gonna it's always gonna stay there. And in fact, I'm gonna go into um, appearance now or main window. Okay, height. I'm just gonna reduce the height like this. Okay, so this way I can I can you know play around with the settings and and, and show you Gwake okay uh all right show tab bar no i don't like the tab bar uh abbreviate directories in tab names again i don't care about the tabs uh refocus if open yes start full screen yes in fact this is how i how i use quake most of the time it's like this right like that okay um mm -hmm. titles for t again tab names don't care I said window title to current tab name sure why not um yeah so you can also have it uh at the bottom and not at the top if you prefer um, you can also have it appear on mouse display. So if you have mouse, dis uh, you know, multiple displays where your mouse is, this is where it will spawn. I actually don't like this. Even if I have, like right now, I have only one display. But um, if I had multiple ones, I would always want it to spawn on, 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 you know, on my primary one. Always on primary like this. Okay. Uh, you can also have uh, tabs on top, right? So if I show the tab bar, the tabs can also be on top if you really like. But I don't like the tab tabs anyway. Um, another thing is 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 actually kind of weird. Uh, you can set up, you know, first of all, you can set up the height, right? And you can also set up the width. Okay. Uh, but what you can also do is you can uh, you can have displacement, right? So you can say uh, align it to the right, uh, but then uh, from the right, you know, add a couple of pixels like this, right? So you can spawn it like exactly where you, where you want it to spawn. 
right like this and from the height i don't know 500 maybe like this right so you can always have like a press f12 it goes in there stays in there if you if you really want to i uh, actually don't want any of that uh so i want a zero here you know zero here and uh, i want it to be in the center and i want the height to be i mean in this case i'm just showing you around but you know i want the full width okay in fact if i go to uh scrolling i also don't like the scroll bar Right. So basically when 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 Quake is, you know, in full screen, it looks like this. OK. And by the way, we should probably go and uh, go to appearance and change the font to uh, I use fewer code everywhere. Uh, fewer code light. OK. And let's make it, I don't know, 22 or something like that. OK. So now it's bigger. Now now we can actually see it. Uh, it comes with a bunch of a bunch of themes. In fact, you can click over here and press escape and I can go down, up and down and, you know, change the themes. Um, I actually haven't found the, the, the theme that I like. Uh, I'm actually thinking about creating my own. So for now, I'm using Xterm, um, Xterm, Xterm, Xterm. Uh, where is it? Xterm, like this, okay? So just dark, you know, it's kind of greenish, you know, text is white, you know, nothing nothing major. Okay, so you can change the transparency, you know, you know, you can make it fully transparent, please don't do that. Uh, I recommend like somewhere around 75% this way. It looks kind of cool, but you can see, still see a little bit of things uh, in the back, uh, but also things in the front. Our cursor shape, you know, nothing nothing really important. I don't like the blinking, allow bold font, yes. Uh, bold text is also bright. Um, sure, yeah, yeah, kind of looks cool, I don't know. Um, uh, what else? So yeah, you can also change the color palette as well. Uh, let's go back to main window. Um, we're pretty, pretty much done over here. Let's go to the shell. Uh, I, I let it uh, run the user shell, uh, which in my case is ZSH. Um, in fact, a couple of videos from now, I'm going to make a video about BioBoo. And then over there, I, I choose BioBoo. And then I have in, in Quake, I have BioBoo. Uh, but in regular terminal, I have the user shell, which is just ZSH. But then again, inside of BioBoo, I'm running ZSH anyway. Uh, yeah, you can run it as a, command, as, as a login shell. Open new tab in current directory if you really want to. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not using tabs. Uh, scrolling, uh, please infinite scrolling uh, on keystroke, yes. Um, appearance, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, keyboard shortcuts. Um, I like because I because I don't use tabs. I don't don't, um, don't use anything uh, in here. I disable most of them except for maybe like F12. You know you can you know you can toggle the terminal. You can do um, F11 is, is screen. Uh, I'm sorry, it's full screen. Right, F12 goes away. So full screen goes away. Right. Uh, sometimes uh, what what I just did is I clicked F11, and as you can see, it didn't go to to the proper size. I think it's a bug. So we just press F12, and then press F12 again, and then it will be in its in its uh, appropriate place. Um, you can also search uh, search terminal. You know, Control Shift F. So if I cut into my ZSHRC file and I search for uh, style, for example, so I can do Control Control Shift F, and I type in style. Uh, it found this one. Maybe I can look for fun yeah so fun is there you know nothing nothing uh super um you know major or cool you know the only reason i'm using quake is again because it drops down like this uh quick open yeah, so if you have a link over here, you can click it, and it has presets for uh, the command editor. So, for example, um, I'm using Visual Studio Code, but you know, but Sublime Text starts faster. So you can click on Sublime, and then if I have a link over here to a file, then I can actually click on it. Let's actually try that. So I'm gonna do LL. Uh, let's see, can I do? Uh, how does it? How does it work? Control Alt. No, I actually don't know what the what the combination for that is. Um, I'm not going to look for it because I don't want to waste your time. I want to make this video short. Okay, uh, quick open in current terminal. That's probably if you're using um, applications like like Vim. Um, doesn't matter. Okay, you can have hooks so you can run some commands when it, when it shows or when it, when it starts. Um, you only need the comp compatibility tab if you if you run into any issues like with most terminals. Okay, so this is how I have it most of the times like this in full screen. Okay, so I can have my Visual Studio Code and whatever I'm typing, typing, typing. And I press F12 and it has my thing. You know, uh, again, usually I'm running Bioboo inside of it and then I'm using the tabs and the panes inside of Bioboo. Uh, but you know, you can use the panes over here, right? So you can split like this. You can have another one over there. You can uh, split like this. One weird thing is that if you don't have, uh, notice that it shows the, the, the cursor in all of the splits. So um, if you set up the, the cursor in such a way that it doesn't blink, then you, you actually have no visual indication uh, 
which one is currently active. So uh, I can click on this one, this one, this one. Nothing actually changes, but it actually changes focus, right? It's kind of weird. Um, you know, this whole splitting thing, I think it's kind of new uh, in, in Quake, and uh, therefore it's not it's not as powerful. You know, you, you can't click a combination, for example, to, to change the layout in here, for example. You know, in any case, let's just press Control-D a couple of times so that we have um, only one. All right, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. Just one little thing. In the previous video, I showed you how easy it is to sync your dot .files across your devices. However, Quake doesn't actually use dot .files, and also this is one of the reasons why I showed it to you, because in the next video, I want to show you how to get around this issue. All right, take Wake for a spin. As always, it's been Vlad, DevInsider.com. Don't forget to like this video if you did. Subscribe if you want to improve the developer inside you. And if you learned something today, consider supporting me on Patreon. But most importantly, take care.